Hi guys, it's Chloe with Rococo Real Estate and Design, and this is one of our first videos. It's a market report for 2019 in Loudoun County. Who's excited? I am. So, what's a market report? So a market report is basically something that analyzes the different neighborhoods in the county. So I've gone ahead and done this for you from Bright MLS, which is one of the real estate agent tools. So I've gone through and gotten the percentages for average sold price, days on market, an average um, increase of the average sold place price in the area. And then I've gone and compared that to each neighborhood in Loudoun County. Sounds like a lot of work, right? Well, you don't have to do it. I did it already. So why don't you grab um, a glass of wine, a glass of champagne, uh, and sit down, relax, and see where you're at. See where your neighborhood is at um, in comparison to where it was last year. Maybe it's increased and maybe you wanna sell your house now or maybe you wanna wait a little bit longer. Anyway, whatever you decide, keep tuned. I'm gonna write down below um, the timestamps of each of the neighborhoods. So if you just wanna like scroll on by and just go right to that neighborhood, then that's completely fine. Um, it's gonna be a little bit dry. Um, so. That's why we have our glasses of wine and <laughs> we're gonna go right on by. Okay, so let's start with Loudoun County. So I have my little Excel sheet here um, that I'm just gonna read off of. But basically Loudoun County, the average sold price for 2019 was $543,555. So the average days on market, was 26 days and the percent increase was um, for the average sold price was four percent so we want to make sure when we're comparing our um, our our neighborhoods from the average Loudoun County to the neighborhoods themselves that it if it's seen an increase it's going to be a little bit more than four percent um, if it's lower then maybe you don't want to sell your home at this moment um, so we're gonna go through and we're gonna go see the differences between 2019 and 2018. So in Loudoun County as itself, it's actually increased um, the average sold price by about $20,000 within one year, which is amazing. Um, and then the average days of market, you've saved about four days on there. Um, not a lot of difference, pretty much the same, but still pretty good. But an average increase of 4% over one year is pretty amazing. So we're saying that Loudoun County essentially is doing pretty well as a whole. So let's go through and do Brambleton. It's where I live. So Brambleton, there's a lot of new builds. So a lot of this information is not on Brighton MLS yet because some people have not had a real estate agent through this process. So it doesn't go up on this system. Um, so the number of homes that were sold in 2019 versus 2018 is uh, 149 in 2019 and 135 in 2018. So we've seen a little bit of an increase or decrease, but it's pretty much the same. Not really a lot, a lot of a difference. Um, and then the average days on market is exactly the same at 24 days. So just under a month. So if you're looking to sell your house, just think, oh, well, if I put my house in the market right now, it's probably gonna close within 30 days. Um, or someone's gonna put an offer on it within 30 days. And then um, the current price has increased by about $24,000, which is pretty good in one year. And then there's something called the sold price to list price. Um, this is basically you know, back in the day, you probably thought, oh, well, if I list my house for, um, let's say $400,000, well, I want to list it higher at $430,000 so I can have some room for negotiation or even the other way around if you wanted to say, like, I want to list it at three ninety, dollars so there's, like, more negotiation room, right? Well, now, the higher it gets, the higher it gets to 100%, the less negotiation you're going to really have. So... The sold price to list price percent for Brambleton is 99%, and that's the same for 2018 and 2019. 
So you want to think about this when you're listing your house that you probably will sell it for that price. There's probably not going to be a lot of negotiation. So this is one thing to keep in mind when you're actually listing your house. Maybe you want to talk with a realtor, listen to what they have to say, um, listen to all the comparables they've made, and just don't pick a number out of nowhere. And then we've also seen that Brambleton has something pretty similar to Loudoun County, which is 4% increase of homes from this year versus last year. So it's just on par with Loudoun County itself. So let's go to Ashburn Village. So now I'm just gonna go through the little stats and I'll post all of them down below just so you can see it. Um, but we've seen for the current price, we've seen an increase of about $40,000, which is amazing. Um, so, you know, statistically, we don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but this, this is a pretty high increase for within the last year. Um, we've also seen the average days of market. It's pretty much the same at 17 this year versus 15 last year. So it might take about a little more than two weeks to actually get an offer on your house. Um, and then, uh, it's actually a lot higher than the Loudoun County average at 11%, 11.9%. So if you own a house in Ashburn Village, this is something really important to like remember um, is that your your house within Ashburn Village has a 7% increase over Loudoun County as a whole. So um, that's pretty amazing as well. So let's see some of the other neighborhoods Potomac Station Potomac Station has actually seen a $30,000 increase in the sales price of the home. So that's pretty amazing as well. Um, and then we'll go through Willersford Farm. I'm sure you guys have seen all those new builds over there. Um, that's seen a tremendous increase. Within one year, it's almost $60,000. And all the estates is the same. So. Um, this is about 2% increase over the percent increase of average sold price compared to Loudoun County. This is amazing. Um, some of the other communities, one Loudoun, one Loudoun has an 18% increase compared to the average price from this year to last year. So when you compare 18% to Loudoun County's average of 4%, you can tell that there's a major, it's far higher than Loudoun's average. So. That's amazing if you live in one Loudoun. Um, and even the one Loudoun sur um, surrounding areas like Broad Run Farms or um, Cascades or Countryside and Sterling, um, all of them are seeing uh, a little bit of increase in the average sales price as well. And then Broadlands, Farmwell Hunt, Stone Ridge, the Ridges of Ashburn, they all have percentages over the Loudoun average. Uh, Loudoun Valley Estates, Alexander's Chase, Lands Down. I mean, these are all pretty, pretty well-known areas in Loudoun County. So if you want me to do your neighborhood, like comment below and I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll send you the information. But also, I'll, I'll send this information, I'll put, it on, um, I'll put it on the website, and so you can actually see um, what it was of November 9th, 2019, because it may change every given day. Um, but you can at least have an idea of what's happening, whether you wanna sell your home now, or maybe like within a year or so, or buy a home right now. You kinda just wanna position yourself and be well informed so that you know, you're not just um, looking at the stats online because, yeah, then maybe there's a Google article, maybe it's saying, oh, well, um, Microsoft is moving to Leesburg, so like buy homes now, right? Well, yes, while that may be true, maybe it's not true, you never know what's gonna happen, right? So you, as the buyer, as the seller, have to be well-informed. So 
I'm I'm giving you these answers, these these research, this research, so that you can be informed for yourself, right? Um, and if you're a client of mine, I will make sure that you are well informed so that you can make your own decisions. I will never make your decisions for you. That's not my job. I'm here as a consultant to guide you along the way, but also um, to make sure that you have all of these facts in order to make this decision for you and your family. Because I'm not you and your family. My wants and needs are gonna be completely different than your wants and needs. I'm a rosé person. Maybe you're a Sauvignon Blanc person, or maybe you're a Malo person, but this is why we're all different. You know, it's amazing. Um, so I'm gonna list all these results for you here because as a researcher myself in the past, I would like to know the data, right? Um, I'm sure everyone here knows that there are data farms near us, so I'm sure maybe one of you or your family members are involved in something that involves data or, you know, maybe you have children in school, right? Um, it's always good to know the research. But that's pretty much it for the market research report. Um, I'm not going to go through every single nitty gritty detail on here. I'm sure that you could probably just read it and um, know what's happening. So if you want a better um, in detail meeting, you can feel free to book it on my website, rococorealestate.com, or send me an email at hello at rococorealestate.com. Um, we can also text messages, um, call, you can call me at 571-379-0199. And this information is going to be at the very last point of the video. So you just want to scroll on by to the very end. You can scroll there and see my contact information. But it's been very good chatting with you. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that I gave you some valuable information. Um, and... Like I said, if you want me to do your neighborhood, maybe you live in Round Hill, maybe you live in um, Middleburg or Aldi or um, somewhere along 15, close to Leesburg, um, just hit me up. Uh, tell me what you tell me where you live or where you're looking at, and I'll, I mean it's pretty easy for me to do. It takes me about five minutes or so, and yeah. I'll send you the information. So this is Chloe Cristoforo from Rococo Real Estate and Design signing off. I hope you guys tune into my next video. Thanks.